Number 1. Oldenburger Schlossgarten. The Oldenburger Schlossgarten is in the middle of the city, just a few meters away from the big walking zone in the inner city. You can walk through, relax and enjoy the plants and flowers there. They have a nice flower house for all the exotic flowers and a small lake to watch different birds there on the water. This Schlossgarten is not too big, but very beautiful. Number 2. Saint. Lamberty Church. I was visiting Oldenburg on business and took an afternoon to explore the city center. As I walked through the marked plats, I came across this church off to one side of the plaza area. Its tall spires stood out over the other buildings there. It is an impressive structure. Number 3. Oldenburg Rathaus. A wonderful time in Oldenburg visiting my family and walking in the city center seeing the Rothaus plus all the side streets and old shops, also was at the Kramer Mart in October. Their fun fair has the biggest wheel in Europe. Lots of side stalls and food EC. Well worth a visit when in northern Germany. My own parents, mother, came from Nordenham, Lower Saxony, Germany. Number 4. State Museum of Art and Cultural History. I enjoyed my visit to this museum which is located right in the middle of Oldenburg. There is a range of different artifacts to see from paintings to statues to more recent history. The only criticism I would have is there are no explanations in English and as my German is limited I could only pick up some of the information available. Number 5. Horst Janssen Museum. A really good tribute to a local artist. I was less convinced by one of the two touring exhibitions, though the other was a delight. The municipal section is a bit dull and worthy. The best feature, a relief model of the town in medieval times, was getting tatty, and would have benefited from a projector to occasionally overlay the modern street lawn. Number 6. Botanischer Garten. Es ist immer wieder schon den Botanischen Garten zu besuchen, Eagle zu Welcher Jurasite. Es gibt immer etwas zu entdecken. Seit dem die Universität die Hand auf dem Garten hat, hat sich der Garten zu einem echten Besucher Magnet entwickelt. Vor allem bei den Gartentigen und den Staden, Rosen, Prouder und Utensilien von Privat und Handel angeboten wurden. Number 7. Schloss Oldenburg. The atmosphere of the past ages has been kept nicely in Schloss Oldenburg. Not just in the collections, but in the total arrangement as well. Would be near perfect if they had placed a few benches or seats to give our plagued feet an occasional rest. Number 8. Stad Museum Oldenburg. We visited Stad Museum Oldenburg since that is where our family originated from in Germany. The museum is very good despite not having very much information in English, with an excellent collection of artwork and representations of what some of the rooms might have looked like. My favorite portion of the museum were the various dioramas showing the growth of Oldenburg over history. Number 9. Pulverturm. The Pulverturm is one significant landmark in Oldenburg. The city center is today a very nice pedestrian area with plenty of opportunities for shopping, have a cup of coffee and eating. The cultural offering is wide and easily accessible. Number 10. Oldenburg State Theatre. Oldenburgers are rightly proud and well engaged with their theater. A great theater hall and the variety of events make Oldenburg's theater, where a number of stars have had performances at earlier stages of their careers, always worth a visit. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.